Hey, what's up squids? Welcome back to the channel and today we discuss audio. I'm sure as some of you have witnessed before, if a video is really good, a movie, a film, or whatever is really good, the video production is really good, but the audio sucks, it really hurts the value, the overall value of the show. And it's no different when it comes to YouTube. You may find a perfect how-to video or travel vlog video been dying to watch, but the audio is so terrible, it makes watching the video unbearable. Got to get some fuel real quick and we can get back on the road. Okay, where were we? So you're watching your favorite motor vlogger and the video is very entertaining. The camera angles, the quality of the video, everything's on point, except the audio. You can't make out a word your favorite motor vlogger is saying. So let's talk about microphone setups. So you're watching your favorite YouTuber and the content seems interesting from the thumbnail and the video quality is on point but you can't understand a single word he's saying. Maybe your favorite motor vlogger chose the wrong microphone or the wrong microphone setup. Let's talk about microphone setup and I'll show you what setup I use to get pretty decent audio. Audio is very important in helmet and when you're off the bike vlogging. So we want to get almost perfect audio and I found the best cheapest way to get good audio off the bike is a Rode Video Micro Compact on camera microphone. This is a compact front directional microphone that carries no batteries and includes a high quality carbonite condenser capsule for great audio quality indoors and out. This microphone is not a Sennheiser but for $49 you can't beat the price and for that price you get awesome audio quality. Now let's talk about on the bike audio. When it comes to micing up your helmet, I've tried many lavalier microphones, including the Sony Stereo Omnidirectional Microphone, including some other cheaper ones I found at Walmart, and even some that were suggested by other motor vloggers. But I found for the best audio quality you can get on your helmet without popping noises over 50 miles an hour is the Purple Panda. The Purple Panda gives you some excellent audio quality at high speeds at speeds over 50 miles an hour once you have your helmet set up with a chin curtain and cheek cushions and you have your visor down and your vents closed you can't beat the audio quality of the purple panda so right now i'm doing 70 it's kind of windy it, it is uh windy today i'm not sure what the wind is like the most far but i will pop that up here so you can see how windy it was today and uh, if we did get any popping or anything from this setup from the GoPro to the mic for this Panda. Now if you notice in that older footage I was doing over 70 miles an hour with a wind gust of over 15 miles an hour and there was no popping coming from the Pandora mic. In my opinion this is the ideal motor vlogging setup. Now let's take a look into the helmet to see exactly how I have my microphone installed. This is a look at the inside of the helmet to show you exactly how I have my mic installed. As you can see this is the chin, this is the chin uh, cushions right here. So what I actually do is I pull back my chin cushion and I wrap the excess uh, wires around the strap. So this is the strap right here. You can see it. Focus the camera focus a bit. So this is the strap right here and on the inside of this strap I have my excess cable wrapped around the inside of the strap. If you can see it right here. Then I take my 
microphone with the dead cat on and I tuck it neatly inside just under just under right here under the chin cushion right here just under the chin cushion and I snap everything back together like so let me do that real quick snap everything back together so as you can see the dead cat is barely peeking out from under the chin pads and I have my chin curtain right here covering covering it so when the wind hits it hit my chin curtain hit my face and deflect downwards so this dead cat and this mic will hardly get much wind on it especially if I keep my visor if I keep my visor closed like this visors closed you can't even really see where my mic is so if you can't see it really then the wind can't really get to it and I keep my front vent I keep this vent actually closed and that is how the mic is installed on the inside of the helmet I'm sure you heard it a thousand times before you can have the crappiest video quality but once your audio is on point your viewers will stick around but when you have crappy audio and crappy video your viewers will check out or you can have the perfect video and crappy audio and your viewers will still check out because audio is king I'm sure you heard that a million times before so folks this is how I get good audio the purple panda with a nice helmet like this with nice padding all inside a nice chin curtain I use that dead cat to stop the wind from giving me that popping sound at high speeds and that has been working for me thus far and off the bike that road video micro mic that is pretty awesome and it works really well I can't complain about the audio from that mic I'm sure it picks up everything in the background but that's fine because there are filters you can use on your editing software that can help you get most of that uh, noise out of there all right guys I think I'll call that a wrap and you know what try that try that purple panda mic don't cheap out it's like 30 40 bucks don't cheap out on it and uh, you'll have great audio trust me on that I've tried many mics and I found that this mic works well for me all right guys if you made it this far into the video thank you all for watching be safe out here man keep your eyes on the swivel keep the sticky side down the shiny side up and guys I'll see you in the next one peace